this session I'm going to show how you can create a table from scratch. Again, we covered this also earlier, but I'll just go very briefly. And also I'll show you how you can create a table by importing data from a list that you might have in Excel or in a text file, like in a CSV formatted file. So to create a table, if we needed to create a new table here, we'd basically just go under from the home tab, we'd go into the create tab and then we'd choose table. Notice it's very similar to what we had before. Now at this point, what I'd recommend is that you go under the drop down here under this uh, view and then choose design view. We'll give it a name. And then notice we start with the primary key. This will be the invoice ID. Then we have order number. And so on. So that is the best way to create a table. Now at this point we click on close, save changes. And here we have the invoices table with invoice number customer number, amount, and so on. So now uh, we want to bring the data from an Excel spreadsheet. So let's say we have this list, the customer list. And instead of us typing all the names of the customers again in Microsoft Access, we want to just simply import this. So here's the list in Excel. Now, how do we bring this into Microsoft Access? It's actually very easy. If we go here under external data, we are going to go and get the data from a different system. In this case, we are going to get the data from Microsoft Excel. So we click on Excel here, and then we go and look where the data is. So that's where I have my data. Here's customer list. And then it's going to say import the source data into a new table in the current database or you could append it to an existing table or you could link it to another data source out there. The easiest and the less problematic one is the first option here because it's going to create a table based on the fields that exist in the Excel table here. So with all of these fields on the very top. So all we have to do in this case is just click OK. So we selected the file. We selected what we want to do with it. We click OK. And now it's going to ask us how this data is going to look. So we simply click on Next. The first row we say it has the headings. So we want the computer to pick what was in Excel, for example, first name, last name, and so on. Click on Next again. And then it's asking us which one is going to be your list of customers or the primary key here. Actually, it's asking us to rename those fields if we wanted to adjust the names of these columns. We don't have to do that. And then you can also specify a primary key. So the primary key, you can either have the system create a new one, or we already had different IDs here. And we'll say that the customer ID is going to be the primary key. Now you have to make sure that there are no duplicates onto the Excel file, otherwise it's going to error out. So we click on next, and then we're going to call this customers. And then we'll click on finish. Click on close. Notice we have a new table called customers. Those two are from before. We actually can delete those to just clear out confusions at this time. Now at this point, we have the table called customers. And if we open it up, notice it has all the customers that we had from Microsoft Excel. So that's one way to bring in the data from another system into Microsoft Access into a table. Now let's go ahead and bring also the invoices. Let's say we kept track of that data as well. Instead of us retyping it, we can simply go into an external system and we pick Microsoft Excel. We go and browse for the file and now we're going to get the contacts list, for example. So the contract list, we choose the first option to create a new table. We click OK again, and then it asks us that it's going to create a new one. The first row contains the headings, contact number, customer ID, and so on. Press Next. And then here we could get a chance to rename the 
uh, field names however we don't need to click on next and then you choose the primary key so we click on next here and then we're going to call this contacts and then click on finish so notice at this point we have two tables and then we're going to create another table because supposedly we are running a, a small business and you have the customers, you have different contracts with them, and then you also have invoices. Those would be different lists or different tables or different ways that you're categorizing your information. Now, to bring the data, in this case, we are going to actually do this slightly different. Notice different, I have invoices list. The invoices list this is an example of what's called a CSV file or a comma separated values file. So you have, for example, each field and record are separated by commas. Actually, the records themselves are separated by a new line here. So now we want to bring all this data into another table in Microsoft Access. And here the concept is that how do you bring data from a text file or a comma separated file into Microsoft Access. By the way, this is a common format in businesses out there from major large systems. Pretty much any system can create lists and export the data into a CSV file and then you can import that data into Excel, into Microsoft Access and so on. So let's go under the external systems and we're going to choose here text file. Under text file we are going to pick the file here and this is the text one invoices list and then we'll click on open at this point we're going to choose first option to import the data into a new table that's going to be the easiest and then it's asking us a couple additional questions here compared to what we were getting before this is a delimited file comma delimited or comma separated so we click on next and then we know some of them they could be tab separated uh, but uh, in this case we know that it's a csv file or a comma separated so we choose comma so notice it separates each item here or each field correctly and now notice we mark this here as first row contains the field names then we click on next and then similar to what we did earlier we have the invoice number. We can change the names here of these fields on the very top. And we can assign a new primary key or we can choose an existing key. And we click on next. And then we are going to call this invoices. And click on close. Now notice we have three tables. So basically as a, the concept is that you can have a database with multiple tables, more than one table. You could have hundreds of tables, 10, 50 tables, depending on what you're doing and how large the database is and what functions it's performing. However, with the knowledge that you are getting from this course, you should be able to actually design a basic database. And by the way, that's going to show up in your final exam as well. Uh, you should be able to design a, a basic database and run a small business without having to pay somebody hundreds of dollars to design it for you. So, so far, to just briefly summarize, we did create three tables, and those tables uh, we created, actually the first one we did was um, from scratch. Then we uh, created new tables by importing the data from different systems by using the external data tab here. We used Excel, but similarly, you could use data from another access database and so on.